Hello. Welcome to Bobby Brews, where I play my MTG Arena homebrews. Today, we're playing Push Pull. Now, normally, the deck would already be displayed for you, but I wanted to show you that there are two columns of mana costs. Two and seven plus. <laughs> That's it. So we have Push Pull. If you're not familiar with this, we're going to be using the pull. You get two creatures from any graveyard, put them onto play. They have haste. Sack them at the end of the turn. So these are good with ETB or just really big creatures so that you can win on the spot. And we have those. So we have Galta, 12-12. When it comes into play, you can put other creatures from your hand into play. So if you have some of these other ones, you can put them in. But usually you just want to attack with that 12-12. You also have Galta and Malvern. So that's another Galta, another 12-12. And this one, when you attack, and it doesn't have to be attacking with Galta, it's just any attack, you can create a creature that's attacking for the highest power. So if you have these two Galtas, you can swing in for 24 and create a 12-12 token. So that's 36. Now on top of that, we have Zia Torah. If you're not familiar, pretty good with big creatures because at the end of your turn you can sack a creature to deal damage equal to its power and then create tr three treasures so if you are able to reanimate one of these and a Zeatora or you reanimate both and you put the Zeatora into play with Galta at the end of the turn before you have to sacrifice them you can willingly sacrifice them to fling it at your opponent's face so that's another 12 damage to their face and three treasures so that could be an attack of 48 in one turn. 12 plus 12 plus the token is 12 plus the 12. It's pretty good. On top of that, single copy of Itali, Titan, and Atraxa so that we get some ETB value just in case they are able to destroy them somehow. And then a lot of card draw, chart of course, Tid Indulgence, and the Vault so that we can potentially do this turn five. It's the only way to do it slightly faster. We also have Wall of the Forgotten, which is a nice addition. I like this one. Usually you're just going to look at the top three and choose one. The rest is your graveyard. But sometimes you'll actually get the Descend date and you'll bounce something, make it them discard and card selection. A little bit of interaction, just two Bitter Triumphs because they help us throw stuff into the bin. And a couple of chil Children's Edict. Land is what you'd expect with some of the... Surveil lands. It's fun. It's not competitive. Just telling you right now, I'm probably going to play a bunch of games and then show you the most interesting games at the end. But this is not for ranking up. I hope you enjoy this brew. If you do, make sure to subscribe. Also, share, like, notifications, and leave a comment. But please keep it positive. Without further ado, let's get a taste of this pulling brew. Okay, we are on the play, and this is a good hand. We just need to draw our reanimators. But we have the vault on the play on turn two. That's going to be awesome. And we have a wall of forgotten. We want lands, so yes, we'll keep that one. Oh, it looks like they might be playing domain, which means this vault may not stick around. Now you only need one treasure on turn five to cast. Nope, let's go with this one. To cast the push pull. You can't do it any f earlier. So usually doing this is the turn two, whatever two drop you have is the best thing you can be doing. Now for this turn, we definitely want to try and have Mana up. Spelunking. Okay, that could be annoying. You just need the push pull. That's it. There it is. Okay, so that slows us down by at least one turn. Maybe more. Actually, we could bounce this and then when they use it again, get the treasure. Or is it better to wait one turn? Yeah, I think it's better to do this because we need a way, there we go, of discarding our fatties. 
and moving our deck to keep finding what we need. So we have both the cards we want in our graveyard. I may have to cycle the sound. Oh, there it is. I was going to have to cycle the, the lounge, but not anymore. Unless they counter this. Another? Oh, yeah, that's fine. I don't mind that. Play something big. That is not what I was expecting to see from their deck, actually. We need the push pull. We've seen 20 cards. Yeah, I'm not going to kill your 2-2. Two, two. Make another one. I don't really care. I'll draw a discard. Sounds like they have another ley line. That's why I didn't get rid of the lounge yet. Without an Italian hand, it's probably irrelevant to play the the lounge. Oh, they're just straight up control. I wasn't expecting. Uh, what? What? That's where you put it on your wandering emperor. What? What did they just do? Okay. Triple lounge bit much. I think it's better to play. Do we play the lounge? We'd have to play both of them. I don't think so. I think this is going to be better. That's a good one. That is a good one. Hmm. Why didn't they put the counter on the Wandering Emperor? Do they not know how their deck works? Yeah, that's fine. Do we cash in this treasure? I don't think so. Let's do... I'm going to start playing these just in case. Let's do all of it. Bounce this. Target an opponent. Oh no, counter spells. This is great. Oh, but I shouldn't have played the land because I could have push-pulled this turn. Mm. That is on me. That is my bad. Hopefully we don't lose because of that. There's the push-pull. I'm actually not going to cycle it. I want to wait to see if I have... the Itali. I still have four lands, but no, let's just... let's go for the win, if they allow us to win. Do you have a counter spell? I think we're not going to be able to play this Titan anyways because they took our vault. Now we'll get the vault back. Okay, are you going to let me attack? Either one is fine. They're the same thing right now. I don't care about that Wandering Emperor. We will cycle through our deck. Yes, that's a good one. Okay. Let's see it. Let's see it, opponent. That's fine. You got it. 
May your blade strike true. I'll swing face. What's it gonna be? You do die. You can go to one if you want. You have to block something. Might as well kill the 4 4. No. Okay. We will no longer be in a rush to play this lounge. I will keep that. And we'll do it now. So that they are unable to exile the Titan. Is there a land? No, but that's a good one. That is a good one. I can actually play it next turn. And win that way if I want to. You're going to mill it? Sure. That's two of your four mana. How are you going to kill me now? Oh, it comes into play untapped because of Spelunking. Nice. I wasn't expecting that. It's pretty good, I have to say. Foot Joy, 285. What are you going to do now? There's 27 cards in my deck. Three of them are push-pull. So I like our odds. Oh, they, they just scoop. Yes, we got them. Okay, we are on the play and we have a pretty good hand. Because we have lands. We have the indulgence to start moving our, our deck. We have one reanimation target. We need another one. And we do have the push-pull. But it sounds like we're playing against control. So we'll do this now. We'll get rid of the Galta. We need more card draws. What is that? Two, sacrifice, three. Deals two damage to a creature, don't care. Tap target creature, eh. Gain three life because it's a food. Okay, cool. Another reanimation spell is not what we wanted. We need the draw discard. There it is. But now they have open mana. So I suspect this is getting countered. It is not. It's not. So depending on what they do here, we could win next turn. Okay. Anything else? No. Nope. We'll draw. And we don't need more Galtas. We'll draw now. No, we'll just play the Otawara. That's okay. And we're not going to go for it. Not yet. They have to choose what they want to do. We have the vault, so we can generate a, a lot. I do mean a lot of value. We'll get rid of the Galta. Surveil. I'm good for Lance. Chart, of course. We'll get rid of the other so Surveil land. Wondering Emperor. Next turn we'll be able to do push pull, but then they can tap both creatures, can't they? Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll play a Titan. Atraxa is pretty good too. Let's just get rid of the indulgence. So if we play this, we have two mana left. Yeah, let's just go for it. Oh, 
they let it happen. So we'll destroy it and create a 4-4. Four, four. They can sack it, gain the life, that's fine. Sure. We'll play the land. Against them, it seems to be important. So they can tap one and then use the Wandering Emperor. Let's see what happens. We'll draw. Don't need another land. So that's six. I'd have two mana left. They can tap one. We would still be able to attack with the others. Would it be enough? Probably not. And then they can go... You know what? We're going to go for it. Let them have something. Okay. I'm not going to play anything, actually. Who are you going to tap? I would say the Stampede Tyrant is your best option. There you go. Nope. No. That's not the right one. That That's not the right one. Why would you do that, opponent? Do you not know what I'm doing? Okay. Okay, I'll take it. We got him. Okay, we are on the draw, and this is a good hand. But we are on the draw, so we'll see. The opponent... On probably Bat, turn 2, and 2 gigs, turn 3. No. Green. Are they a slow Gurk deck? I'm not sure. Go for the vault. Shredder. Okay. You know what? I'm going to get rid of that shredder right away. I know it slows me down. They got rid of a cruelty when they saw me play a vault. It's a good draw. You can have my Atraxa. That's fine. Why would you get rid of a cruelty? Okay, that's annoying. That is very annoying. I think it's worth losing the life to do this. And let's bounce it. Yeah, that's fine. Make them play it again. We're not dead yet. Really? Didn't go for the children. That is a very odd choice. Yeah, I don't care about the prankster. It is truly an odd choice. Okay, I guess we'll throw the Zeatora and we'll play. Land. We do have two creatures. That's fine. They had another one. So that's what happened. Yep, you can take that Atraxa. Annoying, but it's okay. They have more Atraxas. I don't really care about anything else that they drew. Okay. They just... They had everything they needed, apparently. Oh, yeah, that's fine. They don't have anything. Not what I was expecting. Okay, that's a push-pull. What's in here? Anything? Nope, nothing. 
Oh, this sucks. Really sucks. Because I can push pull the Zeatora. And the Shredder. That doesn't do anything. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't need four of those. Are they gonna grab another one? Twenty-two cards, and I only saw two of my fatties. So what are they gonna go for? Another cruelty, I guess? They hit me for eight. I go to seven. They probably got a counter spell. Or a bat? I'm not sure. So we'll draw now. Okay, Italia isn't bad. What else? Do you tap out? Yes, they do tap out. That's fine. Play a land. We'll go push pull. Is it better? I think it's better to bring in their Atraxa. Oh, it does have to be a single graveyard. That's okay. Let's see what we got here. Let's see, this is. If I killed this. No, I have to kill. The Shieldred. So I kill the Shieldred. Let's see if I attack with both. That's 13. Discard a card. Kill Shieldred. No, no, no. Kill Atraxa. They can bring it back next turn. That's okay. Discard the Tainted. Bin that. Yep. Swing with just the Sea of Torah. Sack this. Kill Shieldred. Pass. If they bring in the Shieldred, they essentially can win. Okay. They need something else. Oh, they can just fling one of these other creatures. Oh, come on. Come on. Give me removal. That is not removal. That is game. Okay, we are on the play again. The matchmaker and the shuffler are in our favor today. Another turn two vault on the play. This is going to be great. A little bit of removal just in case. Yeah. This may go our way. Hopefully it's not Boros or Mono Red that kills me on turn four. We'll play the one that doesn't deal damage. Maybe relevant next turn. Double green. Okay, yep. Pretty sure that's where I'm going to be spending my bitter triumph. Let's go for chart of course this turn. Okay. We have the cards we need in our graveyard. Now we just need the push pull. Free three? Not yet. 
extremely menacing. Okay. More lands? They do have more lands. Okay, so we'll draw first. This means we're not going to do the win next turn. Let's see, we get rid of the Dark Slick Shores or the Chart, of course. I think we have enough card draw. And then here, discard a card. Destroy this. Wolf. Plant elemental thing. I thought it was a wolf. Get rid of the Dark Slick Shores. Okay. Not a lot of pressure on the board. That's good. Another one. Okay. We'll see what we draw here. Not what we want. Get rid of a land. We can bounce. We don't need to bounce yet. Are there lands in here? There are. Let's just go for... Yeah. The Underground River. And we'll look at the top three. Hopefully there's... Yes. Push-pull. Unless they can beat us next turn. We've got this. Play something big. Something that's worth it. That's seven damage. I'm not dead. Come on. Play something. Although with green, I'm not too worried about what they might have. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Let's push pull. No. Galta and Siatora. Don't have anything. Swing for 18. You gotta at least try by blocking. There you go. You can't block the flyer. That's game. Syngroma. You're probably aware that's game. Right? You know that. Come on. Either block or don't block. There. There you go. You still depend on me ordering this properly, which the system seems to do it automatically. But there we go. We got him. Okay, we are on the draw with a good hand. Don't have the reanimator, but we have a turn two vault and we have the, both the Galtas we want. Let's see if our opponent is going to be too fast. Harvester is actually quite fast. Let's see it. Okay, this may not be too bad. That could have been more aggressive. We'll draw first. No. We'll mill first. Surveil. Actually, I can... No. I could put that into my hand if I wanted to. And then put it in with Galta, but we need to go fast so we can... That's fine. So we can get to our push-pull. Got it. What else? What else? Nice. Okay. We are probably going to be dead before we can do much. I think I need the token. Or the treasure. I mean. Let's see what we got here. These are what we want. We will bounce. The one that hits the most is the Harvester. If we rip the push pull, we've got this. That's fine. Are we dead next turn? We go to eight. Yeah, we're, we're essentially dead. Okay. Cool. Push bowl. 
Push pull. That was that was a good draw. We'll create the attacker. That's a bunch of damage. They have to block. Oh, they don't. They just let it happen. We got them. So how did we do? Using our brew? We went four and three. That was better than I expected. Now you won't see two of those losses because they were against Boros with nut draws where we were dead before turn four. I don't find that exciting. And you'll notice I don't have Path of Peril. That's because I just don't want to play against those decks. It's, it's not worth it. They require you to bend your deck that way. And I'm just accepting the loss because this is jank. I don't care if I lose to Boros. Overall, it's fun. We had a nice top deck in the last game. That was good. Deck behaved itself. This is not competitive, but something to play with your friends, direct play, or if you just like playing jank, this is definitely worth it. I hope you enjoyed this brew. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Help me reach a thousand subs. We're almost there. Also share, like, notifications, and leave a comment, but please keep it positive. Until next time. Stay thirsty for those brews. Thank you.